If you're getting a lower back, hip, or knee pain while you're trying to squat, you may not be activating the right muscles. Dr. Nicholas Mercer with you, Improve PT. So, uh, I made a video about a week or so ago about getting the hip flexors to work like they're supposed to. As I mentioned again in that video, um, a lot of times we're told our hip flexors are tight, this muscle's tight, this muscle's tight, and while tight is a really is a <laughs> trigger word for me, um, what we really wanna do is take those muscles that are not moving and make them move like muscles do. So. In that video, I kind of show you a stretch and an activation exercise to get the hip flexors working like muscles. But what can we do when uh, we're having this lower back, hip, knee pain, um, and any really type of pain in, in kind of that lower quadrant um, when we are squatting? And a lot of times we are so obsessed with getting the glutes and, and the quads working while we're doing the squat because those are the muscles that actually cause you to perform the movement coming up. We don't really focus on the moving down part and that's what we're gonna focus on today. So if we don't get the right muscles working the way they should be to stabilize the hip and the knee and the lower back, we can get a lot of instability as we do the squat and then just if we start with that instability, we're gonna end with that instability, go through the whole movement with instability and it's just not gonna feel that great. So if you're having trouble with the squat, try this out, see if it makes it feel a little better. So all you're gonna do is, I'll, I'll show you from the side and the front. So what we're gonna do, if you normally kinda squat, and this is about as far as you can go, you get lower back, some pain in the hips, some pain in the knees, what we wanna try is first getting that little bit of hip hinge, and you're actually gonna put some weight onto the front of your legs here. And as we sink the hips down, you're gonna think about pushing the legs up into your hands here, right? So we're not leaning like this. We're just giving some tactile cueing here. So touching here, pretending that we're bringing these legs up as we sit the hips back. And you'll actually feel the muscles on the front of your hip working just like in that last exercise. So keeping there and then pushing up, okay? push up, so almost like you're bringing the knees up as your hips come down, pulling yourself down, and then coming back up, okay? And I'll show you what that looks like from the front. So, standing up nice and tall, pull the belly button in, hinge from the hips, get that cueing right here to push those knees up and forward as we come down, feeling the hip flexors activate, and then coming back up. And just doing that a few times, all right, and then seeing how that feels now when you're moving around, doing your activities, uh, doing martial arts, doing weightlifting, doing a squat with weight, um, that's gonna be really important in order to get those muscles working to stabilize this whole lumbopelvic complex, prevent that pressure from going to your knees or, or the wrong part of your hip and your back. So try that out. See if it helps you. If it does, it's a pretty good indication that your problem is really a, a movement patterning problem. And a lot of times these movement patterning problems come with a lot of other mobility stability issues. So if you um, still are having that lower back hip knee pain that you can't quite figure out, you can't quite get it to completely go away, please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this. Uh, go to youimprovept.com. We have a lot of free information on ending lower back, hip, and knee pain. And then um, just contact us. Let us know if you have any questions and let us know how we can help you best because uh, we really dedicated to our practice of physical therapy, really dedicated to getting you to improve your movement and improve your life.